Hi folks, this is Bill. Welcome to the Color and Pageantry where we're going to be presenting our top 25 each week. Now tonight, before we get to our top 25, we're going to take a look at the teams that fell out of our preseason top 25. We have Oregon that was ranked 15th. They're now out of it. They got bombed versus Georgia and Atlanta. Just destroyed. And then we have Nebraska that lost in week zero over in Ireland to Northwestern. It was a huge disappointment. A must-needed win for Nebraska. They failed to get it done. So those two are out. Now, we've got some teams here that you can see that we're looking at that are on their way to potentially getting in the top 25. Florida State with a very big win. Penn State came back and nipped Purdue. Minnesota looked really good. Kansas State, of course. They've got some offensive weapons. Mississippi State's an intriguing football team for sure. How about Oregon State? They looked pretty good as well. So some of these teams are the ones we're watching that could potentially move their way into the top 25. Now who's hot? That would be the Florida Gators. As we wrote about in our preseason top 25 and SEC previews, Florida was a wild card because quarterback Anthony Richardson was an elite talent with sky-high potential without any solid experience. So we really didn't know what we were dealing with with him. If he could live up to the billing that some have placed on him, one guy's got him the third pick in the NFL draft this year. Boy, the Gators could have a special year riding Richardson. Now, I've probably attended 20-some-odd games in the Swamp in my lifetime, and when you combine the rambunctious crowd and the stifling heat, that place is probably the nation's toughest place to play. Utah went down there, had the ball twice inside the three and did not score, and they lost the ball game. So they found out, and now Florida has a chance, and they do emerge into our top 25 this week. Now, who's not hot? Well, that would be Louisville, Oregon, and Nebraska. Now, we rank Nebraska in the top 25 in the preseason, as we said, and while we accurately assessed the production of some of the newcomers, both the coaches and players, we did not foresee the step back in the lines of scrimmage, particularly on the offense, where four of the, of the five starters returned. Now, the defense was very strong last year, but the big red seems to have regressed throughout the middle of the unit, and there doesn't seem to be a quick fix now, we all had Georgia beating Oregon, but I'm pretty sure nobody saw the crushing fashion the Bulldogs would lay in putting a whipping of this magnitude on the Ducks. Good heavens! Now, obviously, Oregon has got some issues, but boy, howdy, did the Bulldogs look good. Now, probably the most surprising game I thought of the opening weekends was Louisville getting dismantled at Syracuse. Now, the Orange were expected to be somewhat improved, and they do have our All-America running back. But Louisville was expected to have one of their better teams, and they were simply outclassed. Now, the Cardinals have no time to lick their wounds. They're at UCF on Friday night, so we're fixing to find out about Louisville. All right, folks, here's our top 25 for this week. Take a good look at it. Now, we would love to hear your thoughts on our rankings, so do drop us some comments on what you think. Please feel welcome to follow us over at The Color and Pageantry. We invite you to like the video and subscribe to our page. We'll have a top 25 each week. But more importantly, we want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you next week.